So you might be saying, Mike, why are you wearing a mask and gloves today? Well, that's because I'm going to do some surgery and I'm going to take you along with me. Okay, so we're not really going to do any surgery on a biological entity or anything like that. We're going to do a little surgery on my gaming PC. So my gaming PC is four years old. It still runs pretty good. The motherboard's probably really outdated today. I've got an i7 CPU, which is still a nice CPU. 32 gigs of DDR4-3200, which is still really good. But my graphics card is a GTX 1080. Now, when I bought the PC four years ago, that was a relatively high-end graphics card. But almost immediately after I bought it, the the 2080s came out and then the change from GTX to RTX and now the, the 3080 and stuff like that. So even though the graphics card is still running pretty well uh, and playing the games I want to play, it is a bit outdated. So I updated, I bought a new RTX 3060 Ti, uh, not the top of the end 3080, uh, the 3090s for creatives, but uh, still a very good graphics card and much more capable than the GTX 1080 I'm replacing it with. So we're going to do a quick unboxing of the uh, graphics card and then we'll do some surgery on the PC to take out the old graphics card and install this new one and then hopefully everything works. Okay well there's the new um, RTX. You can see it, the plastic has not been cut so let's uh, take a look and see what we got here. making this stuff hard these days. Nothing is ever easy as they, as they say. Now let's get the plastic out of here and uh, let's see what we got in here. Take a look at what we got here. Uh, got a pamphlet here. Let's see what kind of good stuff we have in here. Uh, how to upgrade your card. Hey, I might need that. Uh, something about MSI. I do have an MSI motherboard. Graphics card support and your user's guide. And now for the big review, what we're all waiting for. All right, there it is. There is the graphics card itself. Let's take it out here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Wow, it's heavy. Take a look, you can see it's a GeForce RTX, MSI, got some cooling fans there, two eight pin power cords. There's your PCI connector right here. I assume this comes off, yeah, there it does. And we've got, or we should have, let's see here, one, two, three, three H, Excuse me, three display ports. I want HDMI uh, ports. So there it is. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, GeForce RTX. So next thing is to bring the patient out and do some surgery.
Okay, well, here's our patient. Let's take a look here. I did buy this PC from CyberPower. I've been very, uh, very happy with it. All right, well, let's uh, take the cover panel off here. Oops. Came right off, huh? Take this away, put it out of the way. Now you can see the... Uh, you can see the insides. You can see the uh, old motherboard right here. There's the RAM, the CPU with the water cooler, power supply, and the motherboard in the background. Is this bed boy gonna fit? Yeah, it looks like we got plenty of space in there. So let's try to ground ourselves out here. And, uh, I think we need to take the power supply off. We'll cut it there. Hmm. Well, I hope this is enough power to run this card. It's got two ports, but I only have power cord coming out of my port. Let's shine some light in there. So there's a little, well, the first thing you have to do is to to unscrew. Did I bring my First thing we have to do is to unscrew these right here so that we can actually take the graphics card out. There's one, and it looks like maybe even two. I think we need to press on this little gizmo here. Yep. Now this bad boy should come right out, and it does. Take the new one. Push it in until it clicks like so.
those two screws back in. One on the bottom. So now, oh, this is where I think the problem's going to come in. So I have one 8-pin connector from this power supply. I don't know if this thing needs, oh, and I have a 6. Let's try to turn this upside down like so. Let's see if we have any more success. Now, I don't know if this needs to have another 8-pin connector. I got a 6-pin connector I can put in there, but uh, we better read the manual here and come back to this. Okay, much harder than it should have been, but I was able to get the second 8-pin connector uh, out of the power supply. It was hidden down here because my old graphics card only needed um, one power supply. This one needs two, so we're going to hook the second power supply in here. Let's see what we got. It looks like it needs to go on top. Okay, hook these together. It looks like this one goes here. It's not going to work. We got to go in at approximately the same time. All right, so that looks like. They're in. All right, well, that looks to be about it. Nothing left to do but uh, plug it in and see how bad I've messed up my computer. Maybe we'll try to vacuum some of this dust out first before, since we have it open. But other than that, installation done. Now the moment of truth in a little bit. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Let's see what happens here.
Ah. ah, I was getting really worried there. Okay, well, post-surgery update. Uh, the patient is recovered and doing fine. I was a little worried there for a minute. I didn't think the patient was going to pull through. I, for whatever reason, it, it took some time for the graphics card to boot or be recognized uh, before it came on, but everything is, is running well now. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on my next video.